What's going on everyone? Welcome back. It is time for another Pounds for Purrs workout. It is Wednesday and it is time for deadlifts. That being said, I was supposed to be lifting yesterday and that was when I was scheduled to, but my left hamstring was still a little bit tender so I didn't want to take any chances and I took the extra day and I lifted today instead. So for power cleans, I kept these really simple didn't go for anything special with them and I just went with my usual 135, 145, and 155 pound triples. Again, just to get primed up and ready for deadlifting. Nothing special here. So for deadlifting, I went in with the same mentality. Just get it done. So these are not fast reps. These are not even close to what I typically would do with 395. But... I just wanted to make sure I got through all my sets, all my reps, don't aggravate the left leg. Just because, again, still was just a little bit tender, but I was able to keep form. I was able to keep tension in my hamstring without upsetting it, so I'm happy. So these are controlled, nothing special in terms of bar speed, even just uh, pulling from the floor, especially that first phase of the pull. Just wanted to get it done, and that's exactly what I did keeping 90 seconds of rest in between sets and when I got to about halfway through I realized that yes it is 395 so we're talking very much sub max weight however the volume and that's where the genius part of this kind of workout uh, kind of comes in is how much volume you're getting and then on top of that the restricted time uh, for resting so 90 seconds really isn't that much. Now at the beginning it's going to feel like it's plentiful, like it's more than enough. Because depending on where you start will dictate the conditioning benefits. So keeping 90 seconds and especially as you progressively overload, it just makes it a little bit tougher and will challenge you cardiovascularly. So is this a replacement for cardio? No, of course not. But you will get cardiovascular benefits along with strength training. So you have that linear periodization and on top of that you have that restricted time periods for your rests. So 395 again, we're not talking heavy, but 10 sets. That's not too bad for 90 seconds in between. It really wasn't until the 10th set where maybe I started to get tired which is a good thing so we'll see what happens with 405 and then I might switch programs after that but we'll see for accessory work I j actually just went with one exercise I went with the penlay row which is what I love doing it's a staple exercise uh, to help deadlifting and I usually would have done two exercises but as I was rowing I just wanted to stick with it and push it a little bit more than usual now I started off warm ups with a set of 5 with 135 and then a set of 5 with 185. From there I jumped to 225 with 4 reps. Now typically when I go to 225 I like to do it for 5 but I kind of had a feeling I might go heavier so I did 4 with 225. Then here you're going to see 275 for 4. Usually I do not jump like that go from 225 to 275 so I just kind of took a chance jumped to 275 another 50 pound jump and got four so here with 295 I got three then I figured okay let's go to 315 for working sets and my expectation maybe a triple however you're going to see with 315 I got a set of five and I decided that mid set after I got done with my third rep I just figured why should I stop this feels pretty good so I did a five with 315 did four with 325, three with 335, three with 345, two with 355, and then two singles with 365, which I am positive is the heaviest I've ever gone on rows. You will also see at the very end of this video a missed rep because, well, I missed it. And I did go for a third single, but uh, it didn't touch. It didn't make contact. So I figured why not just show it. It's a misrep. It's an honest misrep, and I wasn't really expecting to get it, but I figured, hey, just see what happens. I didn't think I was going to uh, exert myself, and just, I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't, but 
there you go. <laughs> so you'll see 365. That's a nice wrap. I couldn't believe that made contact. Second one, very light contact. And then here's the mist wrap. All right, y'all. Thank you. And remember, adopt, don't shop.